gnome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads? Marshall here and look what has arrived. FIFA 15. This is my first review of the year and who else? Emmanuel Emenike. He is back. He had to be our first review. So here he is. He's currently costing 10k on the Xbox One at this moment in time and I do predict that he will cost the same on the PlayStation. He scored me 16 goals in 6 games. This guy was so clinical. It was unbelievable. Free star skill set, a 4 star weak foot, high to low work rates and some sensational stats. Just look at these. Acceleration of 89. He's got strength of 90. Sprint speed of 87. So combine those you've got the words of beast tank I know they get flown about all over the place but come on he is a beast he is a tank he is so good on this game it's ridiculous shot power is crazy good at 85 and other ones you've got 81 finishing so in front of goal he is clinical and I've got to say you've seen how many goals he scored so he is good in front of goal like I said four star weak foot three star skills and we will get started with this absolute cracker in one of my first games of him, just look at that from roughly 35 yards. The bend he got on it, the power he got on it, just beat the goalkeeper. And I've got to say, I'm loving this game. I've only been playing it for roughly three, four hours so far, and I love it. The, oh my god, everything flows so damn good. The passing, the movement, the skills. You can just do the lot. This game is ridiculously good at this moment in time, and hopefully, it can only get better. I know the goalkeepers, there will be an issue because the goalkeepers are terrible I've got to say that I was having games where it finished like 7-4 8-4 and 1 where Emmanuel Emenike he scored me 7 goals in that game he just went ham and you're seeing all the goals in the background his finishing is ridiculous his acceleration and sprint speed that what comes into play most often especially with high to low work rates he's sitting on the last man one through ball he is gone just look at the acceleration there against my opponents and then again onto his left foot and just that's just nonchalant that is as, just as easy as you like a nice little dink over the goalkeeper and he had no chance whatsoever whereas that one was just a smash using that shot power that he does possess his strength is crazy good as well he can hold off players he can bring players into the game he can just do everything you want a striker to do the only downsides to this card is dribbling ball control and his heading surprisingly wasn't very good he did have a few attempts on goal with crosses and I've got to say I just couldn't master that with Emenike yes he did score one header like you've just seen in the background but apart from that he was pretty much damn well useless in the air and that it did it did surprise me I've got to say otherwise this card is well, it'll be one of the best cards that you do buy on this game I know Ibarbo was the sweat king on the last one this one the king has returned the sweat king has arrived back on FIFA Emenike lads go out and buy him go out and try him because he will drop below 10k buy him by the time I'm doing this video, he's probably already dropped literally 8k, he's probably 2k now. God knows, the market will go all over the place during these first few days of FIFA 15. So go out and buy him, go out and try him, and let me know how you do get on in the comment section below, as I'm always interested in how you guys kind of view the players I view. Will you view them differently? Will you view them the same? But for me, this card was absolutely amazing. He's getting a 9.4 overall rate, and I just love the card. Honestly, lads, I bloody loved him. Smash the thumbs up on this video. Catch you all next time.